Welcome back again. This is Shardul Gavande from Ace Knowledge and in this video we are going to see practical number two of our advanced mobile programming. So which consists of Android resources in that colors, theme, string, drawable, dimension, images. So here I, am, I have my project, uh, project created with the name as my project itself. This is my main activity.kt file. So let's uh, close this activity as of now and uh, we are focusing now on the resource folder of our project so under resource folder we have drawable layout mip map and values okay so let's go to the values folder and under values we have three xml files which are colors.xml strings.xml and styles.xml so what would be in colors.xml all the colors color requirements for our applications we would specify under this colors.xml okay then in strings.xml we'll come to the strings later but later then in styles.xml so whatever colors we would define we would use them in our styles.xml so this styles.xml is similar to what we have css in web programming or in html we have used dot css or style sheets dot css file so it is same in android only the difference is we have styles.xml file so let's get into this colors.xml and over here we can see there are three colors already defined and where are this color being used so we have styles.xml where the theme of our application has been defined here the theme is theme.appcompact.light.darkactionbar if you want to change this theme you can and go for some other things there are many things available over here here you can see there are n number of there are a lot of themes over here we were using this the dark action bar so we have app compact day night no action bar if i select this theme and if i get into this xml file in the design so my action bar is not being seen in this theme no action bar so action bar is just vanished out okay so there are many themes over here you can try it out one by one as per your requirements and uh, let's keep it as it is so the theme part over here if you want to change your theme you need to come over here in the styles.xml file so basically this xml files colors string styles are nothing but your material design related to the android studio so what exactly is material design in android all the design part or ui part of your application comes under the material design we call it as a material design in android okay so now uh, we have seen the theme Th this colors which we had defined here we have used them over here in styles.xml you can see this color primary color primary dark color is color ascent these are used over here in styles.xml file so now what exactly are these colors and where have th where are these colors being used we'll check it out so color primary if you can see the color is uh, light green so this is the main this is the color of that color primary so we have over here the app bar this is the app bar right so the color of our app bar is light green and the dark green is the color of a status bar so primary dark you can see this color is over here fine so if i want to change any of this color i can i need to first get into the colors.xml file i would click over here if i want a different color let's take some light color and i choose if i want to change my app bagger app color i would come over here and i would choose this color okay and same it up goes up it applies same in the style it automatically changes the color once you change over here provided you have the same name defined over here if the name is different it won't change okay so now let's check whether the colors are changed yes so my colors of prime color my app color and the status color are changed according to my selected colors and uh, let's try to add some more colors let me add a different color color name i would give it as um let's give text color since uh, we would like to give some color to the text so i would give it a text color and for the time being let's copy this color code because we want that selective uh, panel so over here i would select and give some text color 
for my text and let, I'm, I'll give this color okay and I've defined this color so I need to declare it over here or to use it I need to type it over here item name is equal to it was text color and the path to where it is color sorry text color in color we had that text color color dot xml text color okay so i have defined this text color over here you can see this color appeared over here which means that you have successfully created uh, we have successfully added that color now let's take a text view over here let me change my layout uh, okay oh, or it is fine to have this layout as of now fine so by by default i have my text over here which uh, when, which got created when as soon as i created a project so I, if i need to change the text color of my text view i would come over here in the design so you can do in either two ways first is come here in the so source in the source of your design and type android colon text color and give the color accordingly from the colors.xml file or you can see over here the text color appeared which we added in the colors.xml or if you don't want to come here and type to make your work more easier get into the design design view select the component to which you would like to apply the different attributes so i'm selecting the text view this is my constraint layout the entire layout next is i'm having the text view I would select this, get into the attributes, and over here I would search for text color. So text color, and this three dots. Click on these three dots over here. It will give you a window to select the color. So this text color, light blue color, which I had added in colors dot xml, got reflected over here. So I can select it, and still, if I want to change, I can change it from here, and I would click on OK so if you can see hello this the text view the text color got changed to blue so it would be for every text view which i would put in my application if uh, i would like to set it so i'm I, what i've done is i've just uh, created a separate file the separate file for colors.xml and added colors over there so that it is not it doesn't not it does not get mixed in our coding so keep it separate which would be easier for you to build in a, to build an application now coming to the strings part let me click so this is the name of my project which you can see over here in the app my project this is the name of my application my project if i want to change this name i would come into the strings.xml and over here I can write any other name. Let's write our channel's name, Ace Knowledge. And it would get reflected over here, Ace Knowledge. So you need to come over here under strings.xml and change it. Apart from this, what else we can do is in activity main, we had a text view which we had taken, right? So we have hard coded this string, which is hello world. So it's not the way we do, we can, but usually we don't do, do this directly hard coding of string what we do is we get into the strings.xml file and under string we create here a string name as my text give the name as my text and over here i would write as hello hello folks and this name i would use it in my main.xml file so over here it would be android colon text equal to double quotes and let me type string st and over here you can see app name and my text so these are only two strings which are defined in our strings.xml file app name was for our application name and uh, string my text is which i just created hello folks so if i select this my text in the design if i check here i can see hello folks okay so let us change the color keep it some dark let's give it some dark blue so that it is visible okay so hello folks over here so this is the way how you create how you 
uh, add a text to your text view. You you should not hard code it. Even though if you hard code the text, it would work. But usually this is the way you should get into the strings.xml and then add it. Now if I want to add some more strings, so we have string array over here. String name is equal to sorry, so string array, string array, and you can give a name for that ABC and over here items one two item two so if you want to pull it in an array format it would be string array to fetch this value dynamically you would require list view or any other view with adapter to fetch this values which we would see later on uh, as of now we'll remove this string array okay so what was next we were having is we're done with color theme string drawable okay so if i want where is the drawable here here is the drawable folder so if i want to add some background image to my application over here so i would just copy that image suppose i have it on my desktop i would copy this image any image and paste it in this drawable folder right click and paste it over here select this res drawable okay okay so this image got pasted over here now i want to put it in my application as a background image so in activity underscore main since we are into this activity over here in the constant layout or any layout where you are android colon the property is background and uh, from where I want the background image from drawable folder and in drawable folder I have image ace profile so I select it and if I check it in my design view here is the background image appeared okay so that's how you add a background image what do we have next is yeah drawable and image are one and the same yeah we have dimension over here so dimension means what the size of your GUI component. So there are, let me give, show you in a notepad. So we have first one is DP. Next we have is SP. Then we have is uh, DPI. Then we have is MM and we have INC. So DP here it stands for density independent pixel. SP stands for scale independent pixel, DPI stands for dots per inch, mm for millimeter, INC for inches. So DP or density independent pixel, we as we have uh, units, right? We have pixel, one pixel, two pixel, px. So in over here, we represent it as a DP. So for the GUI components, which are edit text or text box, what we call or text, uh, uh, the controls, image view button, so for those GUI components, the units would be DP. SP would be for font size. So we have a text view and I want to set the font size of that text view. I would use unit as SP, scale independent pixel. For example, 25 SP, 30 SP. So for font size, we have SP. For GUI controls, we have DP. So dots per inch, mm, inc are also used based on the different uh, sizes of devices or variations in them because some devices are large enough, some devices are small enough. So based on the calculation part, they use MM and INC. Most widely used are DP and SP. DP for GUI control, SP for font size of your uh, text. Okay, so in text, let me get this over here. If I can, yes. So this text view, I want, I'll get into the design view only. I'll select this over here attributes we have as size text size so if I click over here this arrow you can see SP all the units are in SP which means SP is only for the font size so if I select 30 so it would be too white okay I'll select 30 and I think it's not visible over here let me reduce its size to 24 since the background image has occurred okay so 
so if i say match parent okay not match parent let's keep wrap content uh, as of now i'll remove this image android colon background because this image is too large enough and over here now okay Fine. so if i write this android layout width as match parent which means that it would take this entire entire width of the application so width and height if i keep as match parent it would take the entire width and height of the application wrap contain means as long as my as long is my text it would take only that part only the, that height and width of my text so my text is till this till this part only so my width would be till here only it would not go after that my height is till this part only it would be till the here only it would not extend vertically more enough so if i say here height height i have specified already 36 dp if i create as a wrap content then it is wrap content and it shows only it takes only that amount that amount of space which it requires if i write height as match parent it would take the entire entire size of application so that's the difference and let's try again to put here android colon background okay so here we got it again so it looks now better hello folks and eggs so this is how you adjust and adjust your design accordingly so you you won't get perfect at the very first time you need to work on it and go through all the attributes how it how each of the attribute represents and yes we are done with this dimension that's it from this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe